So for a long time, researchers thought that the issue chimpanzees were having learning a spoken language was their vocal tract. They thought, you know, when they looked at the, the vocal tract itself, it says, well, it seems like this vocal tract makes speech production essentially impossible because of the way it's that it's shaped. And a recent study from 2016 showed that this actually wasn't true. When they looked inside monkeys' vocal tracts with x-rays, they found them to actually be far more flexible than previously thought. And this uh, Science Daily article right here uh, details the overview of that study. Uh, but what do we, what does that mean? Well, that means that the reason that chimpanzees weren't learning spoken English was not really a vocal tract issue. Right? It's not that they couldn't produce the sounds. So this is a, a quote from Fitch and Friends 2016. The key conclusion from our study is that the basic primate vocal production apparatus, right, the vocal tract, is actually easily capable of producing five clearly distinguishable vowels. And they give examples of what these are. So i and bit, e and bet, a and bat, a and but, a and bot. And these five vowels are the worldwide norm, actually, for human languages. So if you look at databases of how many vowels uh, languages of the world have, many of them have five, and they often have these five. And many of the world's languages make do with only three vowels, right? So, you know, being able to make five distinct vowel sounds should be enough for you to produce language-like sounds, right, that you could therefore use to scaffold the spoken productions of language.